Oh, hey, you are here from Instagram. If you watch the whole video on Instagram, make sure you go to this time frame right here so that you can continue watching part two of the video. See you guys. Let's continue the conversation. Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Joyce. I'm here with... Dario Monteiro. Yeah, you guys will be seeing more of him. So we wanted to make She's this... She's lying, she's lying. Maybe, maybe, we'll we, see. We, we will. If you don't see on my page, you're gonna see me reposting his stuff on my page. Okay, I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make this quick video to talk about using your gifts. This is something that we've talked about quite a bit yeah. um, and we just thought it was about time to put it all together in a video and share it with you guys. Yeah. Are you going to ask me the question or no, should no, no. I? I'm okay. So why should people be using their gifts? Um, I believe it's very important that people use their gifts because um, God has given everyone something unique and special and if you don't use it, probably nobody will. And, and the people that you should touch, nobody will touch. So I believe that every single one of us have different gifts, uh, different assignments, mm -hmm. and that there's people out there, specific people out there that they need us to use it. For example, there, there are going to be people that they're going to be benefit from my gift mm -hmm. rather than yours. Yeah. And there's going to be people that I can talk whatever, but they're not going to listen to me, but mm -hmm. they will listen to you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the importance of every single person using their gifts. But what do you think about that? I agree with that. I think that sometimes you can communicate the same thing to people. It's like when parents, they try to talk to their kids and they won't listen but if they listen from if that same thing comes from somebody that is older but a little bit closer to their age that has gone through those experiences that has um lived through what the parents are speaking about they were more likely to listen to it so it's not just about the age doesn't matter if you're young or old everybody has something that they can impact other people with mm -hmm. and sometimes it's like those gifts die with us and mm -hmm. um I wow. think about the story in the Bible where God has the several servants mm -hmm. and he has given, or Jesus is talking about the, the master who has the servants and he's given them coins, oh, yeah. you know? And it's that. like one was given this many coins, the other this many, you know, all of the ones that received the coins, I had an opportunity to do something with the gifts, yes. you know? But one of them um, was too scared and he was just like, I took my gift and I buried it. So he didn't multiply what he was given, he just buried it and he was, like called like a foolish servant because you're given something so you might as well use it you have one life why keep those gifts buried to where nobody can see your light also yeah. you know and what is why one reason why people don't use their gifts uh, before I, I before i go to this question there's one important thing um can you repeat the last statement that you said I have a short memory span. But, um, <laughs> um, it, it was something about light. I think why keep the that gift like buried mm -hmm. to where people can't see your light. Yeah, yeah. That this, whenever she 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 mentioned light, it re, it, it remind me that we are supposed to be the light, right? And the way that we be the light is by is by using our gifts mm -hmm. using our callings using the things that god specifically put in us and and this is one of the reasons that i feel like the the world is so dark because mm -hmm. people are not using their gifts yeah so if they are not using their gifts they are not uh they don't have they, they are not uh how do you say uh bright they are not they are not the light mm -hmm. right as they are supposed to be yeah yeah so it's very important so sometimes when you see and you ask yourself why why day by day the world the world seems so dark and everything mm -hmm. maybe it's because you are not using your gift you are not using your light you are you are not shining so people need need to see that so this is this is very important. 
Yeah, so I, I just wanted to say that because you mentioned light. Light, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, is but, true. But you can go to the, the, the next question you asked me. Um, why don't people use their gifts? I think the main reason why people don't use their gifts is because they, uh, they are in fear. They, they are too afraid. And um, it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be afraid. Joyce, I, my, myself, like we've been afraid sometimes when we go in front of the camera, you know, but we don't let our fear stop us to do what is right. So I believe that every time that we let our fears interfere with what we need to do, we are being selfish because, oh, because there, there, are, there are people out there that they need to hear this. Yeah. There are people that they have like amazing gifts, even better than the they one are. that I have, the one yeah. that we have, you know? Yeah. They have really extremely, they are extremely gifted, but they are too scared. Mm -hmm. And every time that I feel like they are scared and they don't, they don't pass their fear, I feel like they are selfish because they are too concerned about how people are gonna see them. They are too afraid, too scared of, you know, the things that they're going to say that people might uh, misinterpret. Mm -hmm. So I believe that every time that they let the fear win, they are being selfish. And that's not what God wants us to do. You know, we have to be courage. You know, even if you have fear, you, sh you still have to do what's right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's my take on it. What, what do you what do you what do you think on that matter? I think that's very true. Um, one thing that I do when I am scared is I either talk it out with someone or I just simply remember word from God, you know? Um, and something that I actually have in my room is this Bible verse has been with me for about five years now. It's Psalm 46 verse 10. It says, be still and know that I am God. Um, that's yeah. just kind of like a part of the Bible verse, but it has more and it says that God will fight for us. Yes. You know, and just remembering that I don't have to have it all figured out. You know, on the inside, I can have peace about what I'm about to do and go forth. Even if I'm like still shaking mm -hmm. um, with even like school and things like that, I'm really scared of like speaking up. Mm -hmm. And the other day I spoke out in class and like I couldn't write. My hand was like shaking. Now, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like so scared to even write. Um, but another thing is laziness. People yeah. are lazy, and I say this because I've also been lazy. Yeah. Lazy to put in the work. Mm -hmm. Shoot, like, yes, I spent like a good hour just scrolling on Instagram, but I was like so sleepy. But I was scrolling on Instagram, and what I planned to do was actually read. I had material to read for my class, but I was like too lazy to put in the work, you know? So we we we'll find other things to um, divert our attention mm -hmm. and we don't end up using our gifts. And that's really bad because future generations depend on that. Um, yeah. There's so many. Talk, talk, more, talk, talk more about future generations because this is, this is really important because um, the way that we gonna, uh, we gonna help this next generation will determine how the world is going to be in the future. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like a whole lot of thing. It's, we're not gonna impact all of it, but I'll yeah. say this. Mm -hmm. um, and this has been a word that was spoken to me. God spoke to me. And there were a couple of parents at the church that I go to that God spoke the same word. And it's uh, the future generation, um, even sometimes I speak to my friends, it's like, what we went through when we were going through school is not the same as they go through as they're going through high school. Yeah. Um, they have so much that is thrown at them. You know, we, of course, our parents had to drag us out of bed to go to church or drag us out of bed to like, hey, you need to go do this or go do that. But this new generation that is growing up, um, they're now teens, you know, getting to their teens, young adults. Mm -hmm. It's that thing that they have so much that is thrown at them and they depend on us to lead by example. Yes. We need to be the ones that are like, you know what? I'm gonna be a trendsetter mm -hmm. for Christ. 
you know, I'm gonna be, a, even if you don't believe in Christ, I'm gonna be a trendsetter for a difference, for something that actually means a lot. Because overconsumption is at a high. Yes. You know, people just consume, 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 but they don't do anything with it. Yeah. And it's like, that affects our mental state. Mm -hmm. We have kids that are dealing with gender identity crisis. They have confidence issues, you know, that of course we all go through it, but the way that they're going through it, it's like, it's different and it's much harder. And um, and just seeing the amount of kids that I see, I work with kids, you know, and seeing kids that are just struggling, going through issues that I went through when I was like 17, 18, but mm -hmm. they're like 11, 10, 12, and they're going through those issues. And it makes me take a step back and I think about, I was like, man, I can't afford to do certain things that I used to do because my kids will depend on it. Yeah. You know, I can't continue to carry on generational curses because my kids will depend on it. That laziness, it actually passes on. Yes. It passes true. on to your kids. It passes on to the people around you, you know? So it's yeah. kind of like, am I just gonna go with the flow, you know, and let things go by, time go by, or am I gonna be like, you know what? You guys can do that. If somebody is out there, they wanna do that, they can go ahead and do that. But as for me, like literally, even if you're a single person mm -hmm. living in your own home, as for me and my household, we'll serve the Lord. Yeah, amen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just kind of like thinking about that, like you said, that selfishness, you know, yes. stop being selfish and thinking that there's people that are watching in a good way or a bad way. There's people yes. that are watching and they want to see us be the difference. Even if they criticize us, even if it's, they throw rocks, you know, we won't be the first or the last. That's, That's not to minimize it, but to know that it's going to be okay. Yes. You know, it's going to be hard in the beginning, but it's going to be okay. Yes. And the, the main purpose of we doing this video is to, to challenge you. You know, it's not about me and Joyce using our gifts, but it's about we all use our gifts. So there's a future generation coming up and the way that they're gonna be, it's up to us. Mm -hmm. It's up to us of doing what we're supposed to do, inspire them, mm -hmm. uh, lead them in the right way, and also edu educate them on what we've been through, you know? Yeah. I've been through this and I felt this way and this way and this way and it's okay and that's how I overcame it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's on us, you know, if 20 years, 30 years, 40 years from now, you look at the world and you see that there's a lot of wrong things going on and it's even darker than now, maybe it's because that you didn't do your part. And this is what we're doing right now. We are mm -hmm. doing our part and also we are challenging you to do your part. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to the next question. I would like to ask, like, we already spoke a lot about gifts and everything, but for the for the person that is watching right now, they are asking themselves, like, how can I use my gift, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I think the most important part is getting around people, you know? And it's kind of like, okay, I'm around people doesn't mean I need to switch my whole group. No, it just means get around people that like, for example, video wise, I've been always been that person behind the camera, you know, <laughs> I is that person that like, hey, you need your picture taken? I'm your girl, you know, <laughs> um, you need support. I'll, I'll like hold your, your reflector, or whatever it is, like I'll help out. Um, but then I, my brother is actually friends with that hero and We've, I've known him for like years, but never, 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 never like really spoken to each other. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, he, Daddy reached out to me because people were like, oh yeah, I know Joyce and this, this and that. And we ended up having a lot of similarities when it comes to camera. You know, we're both pas passionate about technology and stuff like that. We're always like, oh, so you're not copying me? <laughs> <laughs> and, but it's that thing that, you know, get around people that do that same thing as you. It yeah. doesn't mean you have to switch your whole friend group, but do get friends that will encourage you in that way. If you have nobody that does the same thing as you, seek out what what is it? There's a bunch of groups 
Um, but also be willing to be vulnerable. Yes. Be willing to be vulnerable in opening up. Because yes. the reason sometimes we don't end up having that support is, we be, is because we don't share. Yeah, and we are afraid to reach out. Mm -hmm. I remember that, I don't know why, something told me like, yeah, text Joyce and ask her if she wants to, you know, uh, work together and, you know, do this kind of media stuff together. Mm -hmm. And I could just say no, you know, <laughs> like, I don't, I, I never talk to her like that. Like, I know her, she's like my friend's sister, but we never had a relationship. Yeah. Like, we never spoke, but I trusted. I was like, okay, I will be uncomfortable. I don't care if she's going to tell me like, dude you crazy or this or that i'm just gonna text her and i'll see what she's gonna reply and that's what i did and if i now looking at it like just i, I just see like where did this little text make us be today mm -hmm. we're doing a video together that might help like a lot a lot of people mm -hmm. and I motivate you to create content, you motivate me to create content, and we keep on pushing each other to mm -hmm. keep on going. Yeah. So, so don't be afraid to reach out. Text this person that you know that is already doing what you want to do, yeah. and, and you'll see, like, there's gonna be a lot of fruits coming out of one single text. Yeah. yeah. And I would say, add to that, just one quick point is, when you do reach out, be willing to put in the work because maybe that person will be willing to to help you out but they really want to see are you willing to put in the work are you willing to sometimes it's not to say it's unhealthy or in a bad way are you willing to stay up a couple of nights put it like if you got to work for an extra hour are you willing to do that are you willing to instead of going to an event at 7 p.m show up at 7 30 because you used an extra 30 minutes to work on something that you wanted to do. Whether that is working with people, um, I mean, we work with people in all ways, you know, yeah. directly or indirectly, but whether that's media, whether that is volunteering at a, lo a local place, you mm -hmm. know, whether that's helping for a cause for like humanitarian or even with um, environment, things like that, or music. Are you willing to, you know, have a little couple of calluses in your hand to learn that instrument? Yeah. Um, so yeah, just like be willing to be vulnerable, get around people that will support you and be willing to put in the work. And, and another thing that I see that uh, most people, they, they are not using their gifts because they are too afraid to start. They are too afraid to start. They feel like they have to figure out everything before they yeah. start. It doesn't work <laughs> like that. <laughs> You're never no, gonna start. Like not one bit. <laughs> you just gotta start. <laughs> You have to really just start. Like if you have a camera, if you don't have a camera, you have your phone. If you don't have your phone, your your friend have a phone. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're watching this, you got some kind of technology. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so you just have to start. Like one of the things, I think it's a, it's a lie. It's, 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 it's mostly like a lie that comes to our mind so that we don't start. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, this is, you're not ready yet. Like you don't have this. You don't have that. Uh, you don't. You don't do this right yet. It's not that good yet. Like, look at this person's quality. Like. Yeah, but if you if you think like even that person that you're looking at, this person had a beginning. Mm -hmm. And on the beginning, it wasn't like that good. This person has to go through the process, and day by day, you're gonna you're gonna you know do better every single time. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do a little better here, a little better here. And then one day you will see like you really at the top, yeah. but you have to start. You cannot get to the top of the mountain if you don't take the first step. There's mm -hmm. no way unless you fly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you even to, to fly, you got to develop some wings. You got to practice how to do it. Yeah. So you have to, you have to start. You have to do the first step and it's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's okay to be in, on fear when you do the when you take the first step. It's very okay. One of the things that people believe is like I have to be prepared. I have to not be in fear mm -hmm. to take the first, first step, step. Yeah. which it's a lie. Mm -hmm. You be in fear. Maybe your legs will be shaking, <laughs> but you have to be courage. You have to have the courage to take the first step. And once you do that, I promise you. Things are gonna get better. Yeah. Things are gonna get better. There will be maybe one person that will come to help you. 
you know, like something will happen, but you have to take the first step. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Well, I think, you know, we covered a couple of points that I really hope you guys took into consideration. Um, we're not seeing this because we're perfect. I mean, just to even start this video, like we call, we have like calls every like couple of months. We talk to each other. If he needs help, I'm there. If I need help, he's there for, to help me out with media and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and even myself, it's that thing of just starting. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to do it. And I see that in my friends and I'll mention a couple of them like Maria, you know, mm -hmm. um, I see that in her like, her videos are nowhere where she wants it to be, but she was just like, you know what? If I buy this stuff, I might as well use it. You know, it's like if you bought the workout gear, you might as well go work out. Even if all you guys like with your regular old shirt and some shorts, some pants. I saw a lady yesterday in my boxing class. She had just came from work. She didn't even change. She was in her work outfit out there boxing. <laughs> she makes no excuses. Yes no excuses that's the mentality and um that is doing a challenge you know oh yeah you want to tell them about your challenge yeah i'm doing the 200 days uh of change so you have 200 days you have to select some sort of um uh, goals mm -hmm. for those 200 days and you have to work on them for 200 days you don't have no more than 200 days you only have 200 days and you have to really um set yourself to get into the finish line. The finish line is where you get all of the girls um, done, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, and in the process of getting into these goal, goals, you're gonna become something. You're gonna learn new things. Mm -hmm. You're gonna acquire new skills. And this is all I'm doing with the 200 days of, uh, of change. I'm doing myself because I want to change myself. I want to be better. Mm -hmm. Like you might may think like Dario, Dario has out figured out. That's a lie. I don't. <laughs> like I don't. And I still I still have to work on my life. And that's why I keep on challenging myself. And this is something that I feel like everybody should have. Mm -hmm. You have to keep on challenging yourself to do better, to be better, to learn and to grow. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the 200 days of change. Uh, you can find me on the Unstoppable. It's in Portuguese, but yeah, for those, most of the people right, right there, they, they, they also understand Portuguese or Spanish or some sort of... Some sort, you yeah. know, of Latin language. They, they got a little bit of it. But yeah. even if it's not, I think that even just seeing somebody continuously work on something, even yeah. if you might not... Um, audibly understand it, you can see the change visually. Yeah, and, and, and Joyce and I probably will do a little bit more of, of uh, how, how, they, how they say it in English? I, I forgot. Uh, collab collabs? Yeah, collaboration. Collab yeah, collaboration. Yeah, so we'll do collaboration here and there, you know, whenever we have, we have time, I'll schedule match. And yeah, you're gonna see me more. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this motivates you because it definitely like it feels like a weight off of my shoulders in the sense that like this is something that we've talked about for months now i'm not talking about the video itself the video was like we just came up with like oh Let's we should record the video you know <laughs> um but it's something that we've talked about for months because we both have posted a video and then got stuck in a rut you know post a video get stuck in a rut and it's really just like hey can we challenge ourselves to actually like follow through? Because like we said, there are generations that depend on it, whether you believe it or not. There's yes. people that are watching you. There's people that are dependent upon the word that you have to give them or even an action that you have to do for them to see. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to go check out The Unstoppable. The Unstoppable and go be great. See you guys. Bye.